happens when you don't have two log darts catching up. Get on that end and push. Push. Yeah. And then and push it. No, or on the other side. Nothing like putting your foot up on the anvil after a long day of working. Well, 
This video is a long time overdue. We've got the sawmill moved. Well, we always have a temporary location for it until we can build the lean-to off the barn. But anyway, so we have some really nice logs coming up for the sawmill. I've been pulling them out from next to the barn because I've been working with the tractor, cleaning that up and just trying to get stuff moved around. Make it look presentable so I'm not embarrassed to bring this camera outside and run it so you guys can see the whole building. That's why you guys don't have the whole outside shots of the building because I don't want everybody seeing my damn mess. It looks like Sanford and Son had a baby in my yard. My wife is a very patient lady. But it's all, you know, it's all generally around the barn and yeah, generally around the barn. So anyway, we uh I've got some massive white cedar logs to mill, one that'll have a lot of nice figure. We have some pine, we have some spruce, we have some elm, we have some black cherry. I've got an even bigger, nicer black cherry log than the one that we milled up tonight on there. So, anyway, getting to it, uh, so Nathan, Nathan put out a video, Nathan from Out of the Woods, where he opened up a log and had a bunch of ants in it. And the title of the video, this is, you don't want to find this in your log on the sawmill. Absolutely right. Nobody wants ants. So I think this one, I think this one we're going to title, this is what you want to find in your logs. Because we had a beautiful, beautiful cabinet grade wood log there. And that's what it's going to be used for. Once that stuff is dry, it's going to be in my black cherry pile that I'm saving to redo the kitchen cabinets and everything in our house. That's what we're, uh, every stitch of black cherry gets cut into cabinet boards. So... Anyway, enough of my yak, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little return to saw milling, and we're actually going to be doing some more saw milling videos. So I will mill every log we mill, or film every log we mill. I can't talk. Holy shit. I'm having a moment. So anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.